Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so Avion. I see us in the park, strolling the summer days of imaginings in my head. And words from my heart told only to the wind felt e- oh <laughs> felt even without being said I don't wanna bore you with my troubles but there's something about your love that makes me weak and it knocks me off my feet. All right, that's all. Man, they don't sing like that no more. I, I got to tell you, you don't hear a cappella like that no more. And you you know what I'm talking about. You hear auto-tune, okay? Auto-tune niggas is what they call them. And I'm sorry, I was just gazing. I'm sorry for gazing into your husband's eyes like no, that, good. Quasi. Yes, yes, <laughs> are you, are you, I hope you're okay with that, girl. I'm knocked up, so. Oh, no. But I'm you okay. captivated me. Uh, Avion, I am so honored to have you here today. And if you guys don't know, uh, I'm sure you do know who Avion is. I mean, he is a viral sensation, okay? A lot of people know him from his Brian McKnight covers. You mind spitting something real quick just to kind of give them a, a little rewind of how close. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think you sing better than Brian McKnight. No shade to Brian, but he kind of looked like he's struggling a little bit on the yeah. notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that's Tasha K. So yeah, just oh, spit a God. little bit before we really dive into why we here today. Okay. okay. I think I must be dreaming that you are here with me. I must have died and gone to heaven. And it's all that I hoped it would be when the eagles forget how to fly. And it's sunny below in July. And when violets turn red and roses turn blue, I'll be still in love with you. Woo! Okay, I gotta. I'm sorry. You about to make me cry here. Bright midnight ain't never made me shed no tears. So, (laughs) shout out to Avion. I mean, the best kept secret um, in Hollywood, I wanna say. And we have his wife, Quazy, here. Yes. Okay, I want you to say hi to the viewers. Hello, how y'all doing? And we're here because of your sensational voice. Yes. And that voice landed you on the Wendy Williams show. Yes. Yeah. Man, what you saying? You look like you're supposed to be in a music video or something, my friend. What's your name, my friend? Where are you from? Adrian Foster. Making Georgia. Oh, man, it's a smooth voice. Adrian Foster. What the, what the hell do you do, Adrian? What do you do for me? I sing. Makes sense now, that's why you got the all white on like 112 video or something like that. Avion, you sing for real? You sing for real, for real. Can you give us a taste? Can you make some of this guy Avion Foster right here? I don't know how legit this is going to be, so this is okay. You know, some encouragement anyway. Okay, Avion, do your thing. There will never be And from there, you actually signed a deal with Wendy Williams' husband, Kelvin Hunter. Well, it didn't quite go like that. Okay, then let's start from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the one of the, uh, the I guess the vice president of the Wendy of the Wendy sh- well the Wendy app. Well, he's also one of the producers on the show, Mr. G. He hit me 
And he was like, man, I love your voice, man. You know, I'm trying to get you. I want Wendy to hear you. I want Kevin to hear you. You know what I'm going to do? I said, what? He was like, I'm going to get you to, to come on. And we're going to set it up where you come on. You know, and the, it's still the usual show because there's a pre-show okay. before the Wendy show. Okay. So they set and it up. that's the video footage that I right. saw online. Right. And I'm going to play it here so the viewers will kind of be able to recap on what you're talking about. So Right. So so we staged it. You know, it was a it, it turned out pretty good, you know, because the crowd responded genuinely. Kevin saw that and he did. We, I didn't sign a deal with him right away. Like six months later. He, Mr. G had to persuade him first, and then Kevin wasn't buying it. Nikki had to persuade Kev to sign me. Nick, wait a minute. When you say Nikki, yes. are we talking about Sharina Nicola Hudson? Sharina Nicola Hudson, because Kevin wasn't trying to hear it at first. He was like, the, nah, I ain't gonna the mistress yes. that just had a baby yes. that I released exclusively yes. on mm-hmm. Unwind with Tasha oh, K. Yeah, all, let, let me tell you, this nigga spend ninety nine percent of his time with, with Nikki. The fuck, look, listen. Now wait a minute. How do you know all this? Because you got, you know, I know you were were brought in by you said yes. Mr. G. Oh yeah, and introduced to Wendy Williams and and Kelvin Hunter that right. way. Okay, right. so we want to know before we get into that because I mean okay. that's some explosive information that I, I want you to touch on. <laughs> okay, that's okay. some real shit here. Okay, yeah. um, tell us how you and and Kelvin. Tell us how you and Kelvin became so close because okay. there is there is some information that I put out the gotcha. same day that I released the phone call between me and the hospital. Gotcha. Giving Sharina. I saw it. Okay, I saw it. So you know exactly. I yes. want you to explain to the viewers. Okay, well, there's no lawsuit. It was a it was a pre suit going on, and every, every we sent out the demand letter, and they just kept ignoring my law firm after that. And now this that happened demand, to me. I'm sorry, so, I didn't mean to cut you off, but this demand letter entails a and I have to say alleged because I wasn't there yes. an alleged sexual relationship going on between you and Wendy Williams' husband who's known as Kelvin Hunter. Well, it's not it's not it wasn't a sexual relationship. It was much more of a of a abusement relationship. It was much more of a put me down and keep me as your boy to a relationship. Because but you guys did have sex. We did. Okay. We did. Gave each other fellatio. He came over, he came over and practically raped me at three o'clock in the morning. What do you, when you say practically rape you, explain like how something, he came, he came something with, like that went down between Wendy Williams' husband, who has now allegedly been uh, served with divorce papers. Yes. I'm, glad. You, I'm, I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her because I was going to bust. I was going to bust him out way before I thought she would never divorce Kev. This video is sponsored by Herbal Results. OK, makers of the olive leaf extract, a full spectrum health dietary supplement, pretty much a liquid form of some of the best omega-3 extracted from some of the world's best olives in the world. It's a powerful supplement that aids in controlling cholesterol, blood sugar, and it promotes immune health, okay? Visit myoliveleaf.biz below in the description box as well as in the comments. He came over 3 o'clock in the morning. I, I know he was high. I know he was high. Come over like, <clears throat> pull back the covers. Now, I sleep naked. You can ask my wife. I, I always sleep naked. I walk around the house naked. I'm just free spirit. You know, so, and I, and I used to stay in the condo in Fort Lee, New Jersey. He came back, pulled back the covers. Now, mind you, I just did the number two. I just didn't, but he didn't care about that. He ate me. He spit in, he spit in me and then put his dick in. So, excuse me. Excuse Whoa. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. He put it, he, he, he went in. And he came in less than 30 seconds. And he, while he was stroking, he was like, yeah, nigga, this is Brownville's dick, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Because you have to understand, when two men have sex, it's always an adrenaline rush. When two menly men, a lot of women around the world, they, they would have no idea how many men cheat on them with other men to get an adrenaline rush, especially men who work out. And a lot of men who pretend like they're, to pretend like they're straight, they're really not. They, they, they. It's a hormonal thing, really, because I love women. I, lo- I love my wife. 
Okay, because I, I was, I was going to say, because we, you know? we have um, Avion's wife here who goes by the name Quasi. Um, you guys actually are newlyweds. Yes. Um, and so you you know the full story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She okay. was there when it, when it first happened. I was telling her she 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 told me she because you know when you have a sex with your when you have a sex with your woman you always spend the time with her they could tell with, whether you gay or not so they could tell whether you have little gay ants gay, gay onset gay nuances gay shit they could just tell and she knew before I, I had to admit to her what was going on at spa. Okay, so you you know Kelvin Hunter. You've met him before, not personally. Not personally. Okay, so you just know what Avion yes. has told you, and you have you you had no problem with that. No, it was more of like just opening up and kind of like listening because before anything, we were friends. Okay, before we became husband and wife. We were friends. So okay, it was more of an opening a really relationship of truth. Okay, and so you have no problem with him having as long as there's open communication yes. relationships with men. Great. Okay. Well, and no. you had where we're at no, now. It's not, no, there's hell no. no. It's not. Yeah. We don't. We don't live our lives like that. See, Kevin, you have to understand if we if we if we go into the demand letter, Kevin sexually harassed me first. Okay. Then. He starts sexually humiliating me. Second, he he put me all the way down. See the man that you see today. I am. I wasn't that man last year. Very insecure. They changed your Didn't name to PM. Worth. Yeah. Okay. Didn't know my worth. Every time he came around me, he would say, "Nigga, what's up with them bumps on your face? What's up with this? Or what's up with that? You need to lose some weight." Always putting me down. Always talking about he got a nine inch dick where he really got a two inch dick. On hard. See, going around telling people, "Oh my, I don't want my artist looking like a faggot." The first time he spoke to my dad, he he told my dad that he was that he was a full heterosexual man. He didn't say, "Hey, how you doing, dad?" or nothing. He said, "Hey, I'm a full heterosexual man. I, I I love women. I do not like men." And my dad looking on the phone like, "What?" He's always put up this gay front, but really, a really he always put up this straight front, but really as a secretively gay man. Secretively. Explain the I guess. Can we get a little bit more specific on yes. like how like the first, I guess, sexual encounter happened between you and Wendy Williams' husband, who's known as Kevin Hunter? Could yes. you explain how that even came to be? OK, so I used to stay in a, in a condo in Fort Lee, New Jersey. OK, that's the that was Nikki's condo. That That's the condo that Charlemagne the God was at, too. Right? Yes. OK, yes, that's where yes, everything we went down. That's where everything. Okay. No, 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 no. That's what. That's when he came at three o'clock in the morning. That's and I have to say allegedly there. on all this because yeah, like, no, I wasn't definitely, there. Definitely. You know, but definitely. if I was there, I wouldn't say no damn oh, allegedly. Know <laughs> okay. Kevin know what Kevin know Kevin know what time it is. And, you, <laughs> and you've spoken to Charlemagne as well, correct? Oh yeah. Too. Okay. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, okay. Kevin was behind Charlemagne too. Okay. Kevin was behind the whole thing because of some beef Nikki got with Charlemagne. Charlemagne don't even know what Nikki mad about. But when I was in, I was in Kevin's. Kevin's office sitting between sitting back and forth between me and him just like this. Okay. I was like, man, well, why are you doing this, man? He said, you know, you know, PM, sometimes you just gotta do something for the family, man. Sometimes you just gotta do this now, for the family. Now when you say doing this, because yeah. I know we I asked you about the first time you guys had an actual sexual encounter, how that came to be. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about the allegations involving right. Charlemagne, Charlemagne yeah. that re uh appeared yeah. uh via media, yeah. okay, of him um raping supposedly raping uh, Jessica Reed. Right, which okay. is totally false. Okay. Totally false. Now, I told you, me and you have differences of, of opinion on that because of what I found, but from what you saw, I want you to explain to the viewers what you saw. Because, I mean, if that was in fact, if if that is Yeah, this is, is the same true, thing that told, because we, we shared the same law firm. And so it was a conflict of interest even with the law firm because when I, I'm the wild card. They didn't know that I was there. When Phil was calling Jessica Reed. Who is Phil? Phil? Phil is Kev's assistant, somebody who works with Kev. Okay. He's a big guy. He worked with, he also worked with Al Sharpton. Okay. Both of them are crooks. Not okay. Al Sharpton, but Kevin Kevin Phil. Okay. But I was I was there and when I was on tour go on the Wendy tour, Kevin was right on the phone with this girl and her people organizing the story. Jessica Reed and her mother. Yes. Jessica exactly. They, okay. they was doing this for a long time. And then um uh, Kevin paid Billboard. Kevin paid uh, the raw the radio stations. He told me this himself. He told me while he was doing it on the phone. Now, why would he want to? I guess uh, bring up allegations that were weren't suppressed. That were because once of suppressed. Nikki. Nikki got some type of beef with him. And this you have to understand. This nigga do anything for Nikki. Anything. This nigga is a is a little dick man who's 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 who, who's insecure. Never get no. He don't get no pussy. She Nikki was a model. And he got, and he think he got a bad, he think he got a bad, got a bad one. 
And he's been doing everything he can to keep her for the next for the last 10 years. Everything. This this he'll try to kiss her in public. She'll do like this. I've seen this girl give other niggas numbers. He don't know. This nigga, this girl running circles around that man. Okay. Well, we did have a, a pretty angry baby mother. I don't know if you heard that on oh, the yeah. channel. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I'm getting <laughs> passionate because you don't understand how, I, how much how much devilish men Kevin and Wendy have done to people. You don't you don't understand. So you, you have see, beef you with Wendy know, too. I can't take this lightly because okay. because when you when you when you I'm already in my soul. I'm already revealing myself to the world. So it's a very passionate thing to go through something so devastating and having to put it on air because Kevin is a devil. I wrote a song about it. It's called it's called I Almost Lost My Soul. I was really really low. I almost signed my name and left the blood on the page. Why would I write lyrics like that? I'm a happy person. Okay. I am a happy, I'm the happiest person, most respectful person. I come from the South. Kevin knew that he got him a, thir- a, a, a green boy from the South who didn't know nothing, who didn't have no connections to nothing. So he could just treat me any kind of way, do me any kind of way, talk to me any kind of way. And I was going to do it because all I wanted people to hear is that voice that you heard. That's all I wanted people to hear. All I wanted people was to see is my talent. But he saw me as a boy toy because ever since I told him my condition, he was like, oh, he saw me in another way. What condition is that? If I was born with hypospadias. Okay. That's a derivative of hermaphroditism. Okay. And he was like, okay. And that, that turned his perspective around for me. I told him that in secret. I told him that in confidence. And, and now you're t- okay and, with revealing this to the world? You don't? Oh, I don't mind. My, okay. <laughs> I guess if wifey is, is cool, like. My, my, we good over here. We, okay. We, we really are. And okay. Because I love me. See, but you talking to a different man today. Ten years ago, right when I met Kev, I didn't even believe in God. I had okay. no idea what God was. Oh, wow. So if anybody can tell you what God is, I can because I know it from a scientific level, a historic level, a, a, a mathematical level, any okay. a, a, any kind of level. And, Look, and I, I want to talk. I hate to, I hate to no, say okay. that it took no. a man to fuck me to, for me to believe in God. Because I would have never believed in God if I wouldn't have had no traumatic experiences the way I had with Kev. He really took me through the loop. I'm coming from a corporate background. I'm coming into the music business. I know the music business is the devil's business. My grandma always told me. So when I come into contact with people like Kevin, I expected it. That's why I went through it, because I understood that's what you have to go through to be famous for people that like you. Okay. Let's talk about the first encounter between you and Kev when you, uh, I guess, signed to his label. And uh, after that signing, uh, I want to know how the actual first initiation of a sexual relationship that you're you're claiming happened between you and him happened. It's okay. No, I know you've been holding. You claim you've been holding this in. in. We had a very emotional (laughs) conversation when we spoke the other night. When I guess you had you were wondering how I got the information. You were like, "What the hell? You know, how'd you get that that information?" So, um, tell me about the first encounter um, between you and Kevin that okay. became sexual from right. business to now sexual. Okay, so Kevin would always beg me to tr- beg me, beg me to go to the spa. Cuz the spa was right up on the, right up the street on Lemoyne Avenue. And what spa is this? It's a Chinese spa on Lemoyne Avenue. I I, I it's very okay. easy. It's the only spa in um in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Fort okay. Lee, New Jersey is small. Okay. I always beg me to go to the spa. I'm like, man, I don't like the spa. I don't like I don't like massages. I don't like it. You can ask my wife. I don't like massages. Okay. <laughs> so he finally <laughs> most, got, most men do. I, so like, yeah, okay. Right. So when we got when we got to the spa, I noticed you know everybody everybody get in the spa, but he would only choose the days that nobody would be in there, and I noticed this, and I'm like, okay. And I already had curiosity that he was gay anyway because you know how men be like act like they tough, but nah, nah, really. So you kind of you so saying you I picked already, it up? I already okay. picked it up. So. He got naked and got me in the, and and went in the pool and I and he was like so what you want to do with folks? so what you gonna do when 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 you get in the rooms I like what you mean what I'm gonna do when I get in the rooms he said nigga what you gonna do when you get in the rooms and they ask you what you want to do for fame nigga I'm like what he was like come on get in the tub let me talk to you I was like no 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 I ain't gonna get in the tub so I said I'm gonna go in the clay room now. Mind you, when I'm in this clay room, I said, this nigga come in here the next two minutes with fully dressed, telling me to go, he's gay. This motherfucker came in there in less than a minute and told me, he said, let's go. And I was like, okay. So the next time we went in there, same Which thing. Which was how, how, how long in between? Like a month apart. Okay. Like a month and a half apart. Okay. The next time we went in there, 
it was not. I'm telling you, it's not a romantic thing with this gay. Shit. It's not a romantic thing with okay. when you talk when you having sex with a man. It's the next time we went in there, both of us got naked. Both of us got in the tub. We was talking. We was building. When we got in that sauna, that's when we both performed fellatio, and that's when we both fucked, did each other in the butt. That's when we both did. And and how? <laughs> I'm sorry. And see, <laughs> it I couldn't even really get hard like that because Kev. He comes so fast. He comes in like 30 seconds because it's like a rush. He comes. <laughs> I couldn't even really get hard doing him because I, I was like, why am I doing this? I was so low. You don't even. This ain't nothing like. So I'm you're saying to, you're depre- you were depressed. Yeah, I was depressed. I was at my lowest stage. He was like, nobody ain't going to sign you. Nobody ain't going to. I'm the only person that could do this for you. I'm the only person like drilling me. This ain't entertaining for me. This is a ser- This is serious business. So you're saying did, you, like, you did I, not I, want I, to carry on a sexual relationship? No, it with wasn't. Kevin. No, it wasn't even like that. I was at my lowest point. Lowest point. Well, I well, I realized, okay, nobody ain't gonna sign me. I'm in this contract for two or three years. Might well just go through it. Now, when when did this first, I guess, encounter happen? In what year? 2017, 2016? No, this happened last year. 2018. Oh, was when it happened. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. okay. 2017, I signed on, but 2018. <laughs> This happened, this happened, we we exchanged DNA twice. <laughs> one at the spa, one at the, at the condo. And the one okay. at the condo wasn't really, my, wasn't really me. You know, he practically came over there because I was his boy toy. I was somebody that he can get off on. Kevin was abused as, as a kid. Okay. You know, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin's mom didn't love him. She, she kicked him out early. You know, he's been through so much in his life, and he's a sick man. Sick, sick. So... I understood that. He told me all his little secrets about how he couldn't satisfy satisfy Wendy. Tell me her pussy was too her, excuse me, her, her she she was too enlarged down there and his little dick couldn't 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 satisfy her. That's why Get she hold did, on for a she, second, Avia. Bring the camera here for a second. The opinions of the guests on this show look, are not the opinions of Tasha K. Okay, go ahead and speak. That, that's why saying. she let him have Nikki, because she knew that... She, she let was, him have she Nikki. She let him have Nikki. So she you, said, just don't get her pregnant. You know, just don't <laughs> fuck... Because she was like, the only reason she didn't leave Kev is because he a black man. And she didn't want him to be looked at another way in America, just like every other black man. She ha- she actually had respect for him as a black man face. Okay. But he, when you keep acting like a, 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 can I say nigga? Sure. When you keep acting like a nigga, you know, she gonna treat you like one. Like, her parents didn't like him in the beginning, but they, they seemed they seem to like him as they, as they progressed. Okay. But she let him have Nikki because she knew he couldn't really satisfy her. She, she, the whole, probably the last 15 years, she, all she did was give moral sex. That's why Wendy got so mad at that girl and that lady on the show when the lady was like, "Oh, ask Wendy," and she was like, "Oh, I like the man, but you know the man, he just he did just look too, just too little." That was my first time. I've been watching Wendy for a long time. That was my first time seeing her get emotional. Oh, what's wrong with you? Why would you talk about a man like that? You you should be more mature than that. She got real upset because her husband did little, and she know that 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 just that just does things to a man's mind. When he when he when he's that kind of size, okay. it make you over alpha. So how how did you know that Wendy knew about Sharina? Oh, the my mistress. first my okay. first was doing the Big Guns video because when he came down here when we came down here to do the uh, the Big Guns video, Wendy found out. Wendy had her private investigator go to Nikki's house because her, her house was right around the corner. Okay. <laughs> <What> the fuck. <laughs> 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 now I was around the corner and then Wendy was only able to get into the garage and she was like oh she was hurt oh my god she was so hurt she called Kev this was April 20th baby my baby my baby anniversary yeah yeah okay April 20th that this happened of last year and Kev was so hurt he was so hurt cause Wendy was ready to divorce him then and he was just crying. I seen Kel be right in front of the house. Hey, please, you going to break up the family? you going to break up the family? Come on. Come on, we We all these 20 years in. Begging for us. Begging. Begging. And Wendy always take him back. Because she know he's sick. Seen this man put his hands on Wendy. Hit her. <laughs> choke her. Throw her. Kick down doors. This nigga's a devil. Now, let me ask you something. What's your... Because you said Wendy was the devil earlier during yeah, the interview. Yeah. What what is your exact beef with Wendy Williams? I don't I, have a beef with Wendy Williams. You don't? I, then other why than, other than her not taking up for me, seeing how her husband treated me. So I don't but other than that. But let me ask you something. How, yeah. Okay, let me play devil's advocate here for a second. I'm married to a man. 
and this man signs you and you saying that she never took up for you. And then what if she somehow suspected that you two were like allegedly sleeping together and didn't want to take up for you? I mean, how would you feel? That's impossible. Why would you say that? Because Kev really act like he's not gay in front of people. You know, he act real. So you're saying Wendy has no idea about Kevin's, I guess, alleged uh, Mm, gay affair. That's a good. That's a good question though, because I don't. You never know what two couples talking about intimately. You never know. But I, I, I really highly doubt it because her attitude with me is the same. You know, every time I saw at the studio at the house, you know, she, it wasn't no weird energy. Okay. You can always. Now, would you say that she had a right to take up for you? I mean, I mean, would you say if if her being married to a man Mm -hmm. and say for instance, there was no extra that's going on and you're saying that she never took up for you but like would you really think that she would want to take up from you after hearing this interview that you were sleeping oh i don't care what you think now when there's no loyalty let me let me tell you something kevin committed treason he committed treason when when you commit treason in the united states they execute you i don't when you when you mess with my family I, I, you committed what, treason. What do you now. mean, messing with your family? Like, how, Kevin, you I, when I first approached Kev, I told him I have 40 dates at $2,500. That's $100,000 a year. I said, just sign me $100,000. You know, at first it was like a $250,000 thing uh, beforehand when he first saw me. So but, you're saying your initial contract before going, before signing to Wendy and Kevin, this is what you already had on the table? No, this is what I, this is what I told him in the beginning before. After we already signed, I said, well, just give me a signing bonus for one hundred thousand dollars so I can compensate so I can take care of my household. OK, you see, because so, I won't be working. I'll be working with you. OK, you see? so he told me he would do that. Months went by. He never did it. He'll start giving me these little hundred dollar, four hundred dollar stipends. But then he'll say, OK, go to the facial spa. OK, go go to this spa. Surprise me with clothes. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm not your boy toy. I'm not your boy. Why are you doing me like this? No so, money, even even a publishing contract. The last that's the last set of business we did after our fight in Dallas, and, and after yeah, after we had a physical altercation in Dallas, Texas. The 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 business that we tried to do after that, it was a fifty thousand dollar publishing advance. This man made made me and my wife wait a whole month, and he still didn't give me no publishing advance. Phil and some other guy that came down here from New York to an Atlanta diner or something like that at and night. gave me at night. Okay. Late, late night. Okay. Late, late night. <laughs> with a with a publishing check and with a $5,000 check. I mean, with a publishing contract and a $5,000 check. Now, the check had Avion Foster on it, but the contract had Avion Williams on it with my social security number. I didn't know this. I'm just so happy to get it because I'm like, okay, good, 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 good. This, you know, Only paying me for my yeah, time. Exactly. Okay. So I get to the bank and I notice that my name's, the name is on the check is Avion Foster. So I say, all right, cool. Send me another check. I need another check because this check is wrong. This mo, <laughs> this mo. No, no, no. I, I went to a second bank. I went to a, a, another Chase bank. And then they said they could cash it. And I said, okay. I said, even if the names are wrong, they said, they said yeah. I'm a charming guy. Maybe they can't do that. Sorry. Sorry, Chase. But <laughs> 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 but she said, oh, there's no money. I'm sorry. She said, I can't cash this check. And I said, why? I said, why can't you cash it? I later found out that there was no money. So I told Kev, I said, hey, send me another check, man. I said, there's no money on this on this, on this, this check. He said, all right, let me send me a video of you burning it up. Send me a video of you burning the check up. I said, what? Possessive. He's <laughs> so, very possessive. Very okay. possessive. And I, so I sent him a video of me doing it. He overnighted me another check, mm-hmm. and it bounced. And I'm like, <laughs> that's when you mess with my family. Okay. And then... After the fact, after he seen me posting on posting on Instagram, hitting at certain things, he was like, tell, tell your son, tell your son to watch his mouth. Tell your son to watch his mouth. I know, I know he was telling people that. Now, when you say hitting at certain things, what, what were you hinting at that made him say that allegedly? Calling him say, out. Calling him out for like if any like if anything happened to me, you know, it was Kevin Hunter. Okay. I know I know so much about Kevin Hunter's and Wendy's business. I know so much. You mind sharing what? a few of those details? <laughs> no, I don't have any beef with Wendy. I don't. I don't want to mess anything up. But this, this is just strictly for for Kev, for Kev, and I want Wendy to know the truth about her husband. She, she, you know, I really think she knows. I, I really do think she knows. You know, a woman knows what okay. kind of man she got. Okay, you know, it's just all about what she'll let him do or what she will allow. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. 
Is it true that you and Sharina actually lived together? The oh, definitely. The she okay. came over the condo a lot, a lot, okay. a lot. Okay. <laughs> and did you guys have any conversations about her and Kevin's relationship and how long they've she don't you know, love been Kevin. together? She don't love Kevin. She don't love him. It's not the first time I've heard that. Yeah, though, she but. don't love him at all. Okay. Like, she she not she's impressed by him. That's that's the that's the difference. You can have a woman that love you, and you can have a woman that's so impressed. But she just she don't do nothing for her because she she cheat on him all the time. She running circles around that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you've actually cir- seen her engaging, like, engaging with, uh, and with giving other guys numbers. Yeah. Okay. Having guys sneak to the studio. She don't know who my bir- she don't know who nobody's birdies are. Niggas talk. Okay. Nick, all, and, but you know that. Okay. Niggas always. Did talk. you ever see her pregnant? The last. I saw her pregnant, but she was she was like, this is this was in September. No, 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 October or November. October. October. Yeah, because that's when I went to go get my stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, from the condo. From the condo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so she this, was October, actually she was pregnant. pregnant. She was then. pregnant. Yeah, she her hair was natural. I saw her at the condo. Okay. Okay. Let me shout out one of my personal sponsors, Embrace Pangea. And this is a wash that I personally use myself because you know you really ain't supposed to use no soap down there. Soaps and everything cause irritations, all kind of infections, discharge and everything down there. And you should only be using the natural elements from the earth. Using the link that is below in the description box as well as in the comment section, please use the promo code Tasha K and you will receive 10% off of your free first order okay embrace pangea the link is below in the description box okay i use this and let me know how your man like it after you use it down there i just want to i want to play devil's advocate here what if because this interview is going to cause it's going to ruffle some feathers oh it's going to ruffle some feathers baby (laughs) okay (laughs) what if people were to look at this interview and say and i just have to play devil's advocate Mm -hmm. that this is just a story of a scorned employee (laughs) <laughs> okay what would you say to that I know too many of Kevin's intimate secrets he told me a lot of things a lot of people don't know about him other than maybe his wife or Nikki he shared a lot of intimate details with me about himself he he cried out to me he, 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 he cried with me he laughed with me like this was a it was like a best friend type of relationship you know it just was like a, a, under, a understanding that if we do this for each other, that that creates loyalty, you know, and... Could you elaborate on some of those things, like, just to kind of help people to... Like, if you have sex, if you have sex and you have a sexual relationship, if you do anything that you wouldn't normally do or you wouldn't want people to know that you do, you you do that, and that creates loyalty, you know? <laughs> it feels like you have something against me. Exactly, because you feel now we feel like we got some against each other. Okay, so at the time you were because this, I think this is the first time the world is hearing that you are. Is it safe to say bisexual? I'm human. Okay, <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> I know the LGBTQ are really funny about names. So, yeah. Okay, my apologies if I was um, offensive in any way. I, no, no, no. I didn't mean to be. Um, and so you're human, and your wife, um, obviously. I got to hear from you. So I'm going to need you to speak up. You girl, you, you, you fucking up them grapes over there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking up them grapes. I like on feed you. Okay. <laughs> so, no, Queasy, because I know uh, there are questions for you. So you you are basically co-signing your husband's yes. story. Okay. And you were okay with him sleeping with Kevin or... Were you okay with the type of the dynamics of their relationship, whether it was work well, and, and personal? How I looked at it was I was trying to kind of like figure out the pieces of what was going on. So I was playing kind of like a detective to figure out what was actually going on. Okay. So I didn't get it all at once. Okay. It wasn't something I was like, all right, okay, tell me today. It was like, that was more like, okay, I'm listening to this conversation. I'm listening. How they talk to each other was like personal business but it was more personal like the things that needed to be handled as on a business it was more like taking as like my sugar daddy in a way you know I me mean? okay like I was being told to do certain things okay. when they wanted me to do certain things kind of that kind of mood okay so I was learning just learning and trying to figure out the best way to come to him and see because I said we were friends before we became actually husband and wife right. okay so it made it. Uh, he just kind of came out. He's very honest. 
how did you how did you take it? I mean, when you had those suspicions, where it was it like? A See, bad it's not home? even no suspicions. I'm a real nigga. I like I tell my truth. Like you know, you know, you know, okay. me, you know me and Carrie. You know. She was like, she at first when I told her, she was like. All right, like she already knew in the back of her head, but it was like a laugh, laughing thing because yeah, I'm, like I'm straight up finding out something that you already knew. It's kind of like, uh, you know what I mean? It, okay, I'm not. I'm so not. you didn't really react to any. Type no, of because way. I feel like I'm, I'm learning this man. We, we're kind of like going into a whole different. I didn't see myself getting married. I didn't were know. you jealous? No, no, I feel like I've. When we made our relationship, it was more of, like I said, a friendship. So I'm not going anywhere. That's how I kind of like came into this. Okay. And being open and understanding made the relationship more, um, I would say, made us want to marry each other. Authentic, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Whatever it is that you need, whatever I need, I know you'll provide. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. not like a, we just kind of opened the understanding book versus kind of like, okay, you can't do this. Don't do this. You do this. Like we came in not being judgmental. You know what I mean? I'm not a saint. So everything, my past is not going to be beautiful. Everything in your past is not going to be beautiful. So me going into it, honesty was a part of this whole thing. So it came, it was authentic. It was something that I didn't make up. Wasn't, you know, I didn't see none of this happening. Now, now Avion, you said when we spoke on a conversation earlier last week that you don't have energy for men most of your energy goes to women yes yeah, okay see you have to understand back then and ye- three years prior i was at a very low state but kevin really put me at my lowest because when you when you are a performer and you have fl- flaws on your face and you have flaws on your skin mm-hmm. and you got flaws you you can't do nothing you know, you can't do nothing when you're out in front of 2,000 people and they're looking at your face. You just got to close in. You don't. When I looked at myself in the mirror, I, could, I couldn't see myself. I didn't want to look at myself. Okay. So when you have a man that you look up to, a black man who got power, got status, and he's constantly bashing you, bashing you, bashing you, you get lower and lower and lower because you like, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been going nonstop like Michael Jackson since I was 13. Okay. For, and finally. How old are you now? 26. Like? Okay. So finally, when I get somebody who believe in my talent, he does this to me. You see? Okay. It, it wasn't like. Now, a, are you prepared for any backlash that's to come with this? I mean, I know he's probably uh, the world's hated, the, the world's, I mean, he's on the, he, oh, the yeah. world's most hated man. Oh, yeah. He's going to be Right now, sorry, I got more. pregnancy brain sometimes. I'll be mixing them with See, you know, I got to tell you this too, Tasha. A lot of female artists know what I'm talking about too. A lot of a lot of these male producers and male writers, I, I'm not going to say nobody name, but a lot of females get drugged in the music business. I'm talking about drug. Like, fuck, man after man after man, because these men keep telling them that you're going to be this superstar, you're going to be this superstar. Treat them like bitches and pimps and hoes. It's mm-hmm. a pimps and hoes game in the music So business. they said they, they abuse their power. Yes, they abuse their to... power. Kevin's not the only one. Okay. And see, <laughs> I'm, I only went through that because I was really low. You, you're seeing a total different man. God, when you take a, when you take accountability for your life, you you see... How God playing your playing your puzzle is putting your pieces together when you take accountability. It was meant for me to meet Quay. I didn't know myself when I was meeting Quay. I was just getting to know Avion. Okay. She was just getting to know Avion as I was getting to know <laughs> Avion. Because I, the more I spent time with her, I realized you got to love you. You have to. Because that's when God will say, oh, there's my child. I can finally see myself in the mirror again. I, I can hear music better. I write better. I've been through so much. How low were you when you sang happy birthday to Wendy Williams? Happy birthday to you. (laughs) Thank you, Kia. Happy birthday to you.
you and Kevin already sleeping oh, oh, together? Oh, yeah, it happened. It, it, that was the time before he came to the condo. I think he came to the condo that night. <laughs> I think he did. And that same night you sang Happy that Birthday night, to think, Wendy Williams, you, you slept with... I, th- I say I think. I don't okay. know, maybe a couple of days afterwards, but... But it was... It was, it was that during time. that time, yes. Okay. We, don't you know... Did you feel any type of guilt? Like having this relationship? No. With Kevin? Hell no, because Wendy don't cheat on his ass like a mother. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wendy get dick too now. Don't don't get it twisted. <laughs> oh, now, so God, you're going on record to say that Wendy has had Allegedly. Any, <laughs> has had extramarital affairs with other men. Is there anyone in particular that you know? I mean, you letting it all out. You I'm letting let it all, all out. <laughs> <laughs> I might Shit, as well like, say some names. No, yeah. no, no. I'm not going. I'm not going to do her like that. I'm not going to do her like that. The beef is not. The with beef Wendy. is not with Wendy. The beef is with Kev. Okay. okay. It really is. Well, we. I mean, we definitely don't want you know. I guess sympathy to ship because a lot of people are like for Wendy right now, and she's the goat at this. So like, I want to see her come out on top, but I also right. don't want to see um, a, a black man. You know, unfortunately, just tossed to the side again. But unfortunately, when you y'all don't know how much money <laughs> Kevin owe people. Kevin owe a lot of people. Kevin, Why is Kevin it has that he owes so this much... type of money, and him and Wendy are not struggling. What is it? Is it is it that he's refusing to pay? He's from just what refusing you're saying? to pay. Yeah, okay. he's just refusing to pay. There's an employee right now. Kevin was supposed to give him thirteen thousand, but he was only paying him so much when he wanted to. When and I'm like, yo, what's wrong with you? Kevin got people. Kevin got Kevin got people coming for him, like for real. Okay. Like he he got he got a lot of people from his mom, his mom, his own mom. He the reason why he won't reconcile with his mom is because he mad because she was having sex with a man down the street that was his father the whole time. He was asking his mom, "Who's my father? Who's my father? Who's my father?" When she finally told him, he thought this dude was his. Play uncle all this time when he was really his dad, and his dad was and his right live right down the street. That's some Tyler Perry shit, and I'm like, um, <laughs> <laughs> and he and that's why and so his mom, so he got this vendetta for his mom because of those reasons. It's, man, get I, old, you're a grown man. So you take to, them out on people like me. To your knowledge, the statement that was given by the mom of her witnessing him choke. Oh yeah, I've seen him choke Wendy. Oh yeah, seen him throw her, nail her out, like, get out the room. <laughs> get out. Get out of here. Put his head on her head like this. Uh-uh. Like, get out of here. No, I don't, don't do me like that. <laughs> they ain't gonna do you like that. I'm sorry, man. Like okay. I'm just, just I'm just I want the demonstration. Okay. <laughs> she said, I'm not Wendy. No. Okay, I'm, Allegedly. I'm Allegedly. 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 Okay, Allegedly. okay. No, y'all good. But um, so you've seen all of this. Um, and like I said, I have to say allegedly because I wasn't there yeah, of him putting his hands oh, on Wendy. Wendy. So oh, you're definitely. basically co-signing what the mama said. Oh, but, oh, for sure. Okay. Oh, for sure. Kevin okay. is a very abusive man. He's he's always shown malicious intent and malicious intent because he's angry. He's I'm telling you, this man is a hurt man. He needs help. So explain the demand letter. Now I I have a copy of it and I'll be showing the uh, the viewers. But I want to kind of hear from you what this demand letter entail and why this de- demand letter came to be okay well you have well there's three charges in in the in the the man letter I'll okay pull it up if right you don't here. mind reading that yeah okay and this is to kevin hunter only yes. not wendy williams yes it's okay 53rd west kevin hunter kelvin hunter <laughs> those grapes were awesome <laughs> i could tell girl like <laughs> glad you enjoyed them thank you do you want me to read it? I'll read, read it, it and okay. you can just follow up on oh it. It's okay. Oh my God, my screen is cracked. It's I, fine. So oh, you should. I, do you know how many phones? Okay. So I have here via certified mail return receipt requested and read receipt email published for a uh, sent on January thirty first of twenty nineteen. Mister Kevin Hunter. Not going to say his address, but it says reply Avion Will- Williams versus Kevin Hunter and the fifty third West Management Incorporated, who you were signed to. Yes. Okay. As who, in, I, who I, I still am signed. To. You still. You out. still oh, oh so yeah. you're trying to get out trying to get okay out. so let me read uh this uh demand letter hopefully it's oh yeah I only have like the first page of this so luckily I have 
everything now. <laughs> so you, go, you got everything. Somebody sent me a screenshot like here. I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> okay, so it says the blank firm represents Avion Williams. Uh, with respect to his claims against Kevin Hunter and the 53rd West Management Incorporated and all other appropriate individuals and entities, please direct any and all further communication regarding our client to our attention. Um, Mr. Williams has sound claims of breach of contract, sex trafficking, fraud, sexual battery, sexual harassment, Harassment and emotional distress. Okay, according to the percent, uh, percent. Uh, sorry, your screen is cracked. Uh, according to federal rule, I'm kind of circling around. Uh, evidence 408, California Evidence Code 1152 and 1154, New York Civil Practice Law, and Rule Section 4547 in New Jersey Rules of Evidence 408. Damn, she brought the book. Um, this correspondence and all the communication following. It, if any, shall be considered privileged and inadmissible for any purpose of litigation. Okay, so Avion Williams is a musician. Um, and she basically just goes on to say that you uh, worked as a corporate writing singer and performed on cruise ships. You're still working, correct? Yes. Okay. In or around September tw- 2017, you approached Mr. Williams about developing a music career. In or about January 2018, Mr. Williams executed a contract with 53rd West Management and your company in which you would record an album for Mr. Williams, distribute said album and perform management services. Now, let me get down to the demand. Okay. So, in addition to uh, the losses Mr. Williams has sustained, your actions have caused Mr. caused Mr. Williams an unimaginable stress, pain, and suffering. And in conclusion, Mr. Williams has been advised of his rights and remedies and is prepared to commence legal action to vindicate his rights. However, we believe that it is in his best interest of all parties concerned to explore an amicable and private resolution prior to commencing any formal litigation please contact the undersigned within five days obviously there was no contact um like i said the first page of this demand letter uh was leaked to me so i assumed that there was already a a lawsuit in motion and so did you was there any contact after you sent this demand letter to kevin williams Kevin I mean, Kev, Kevin Hunter, look at me. What do, you mean by, what do you mean by contact? I mean, did he actually follow up on the demand? Did he, did his lawyers? Well, that's pending right now. I have new, I have new representation. Oh, new representation. Yes. Okay. So I kind of know how that goes. So if there was any contact, you, you. Yeah, because it may lead to a lawsuit. It may lead to a lawsuit. So you are going to pursue a oh, lawsuit. Full, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. He, he, he better get it right. Because <laughs> are we suing? One thousand, and I'm gonna win. And they read the, the, the man much? letter. Yes. It says if if you take it, if I took this to court, I will win. I know I will. Because and how much are you, you suing for? It says the uh, additionally, the defendants are obligated under the publishing contract to tender fifteen thousand dollars to date. Is what I see. Yeah, that was um, one of the breach of contracts. Mr. Williams yeah. has not received any payments, any payments except for two invalid five thousand dollar checks, which you just uh, spoke right. about. And so, how much are you guys? Uh, how much are you asking for? We can't disclose that amount. Okay. Yeah, okay. just just do the protection. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Wow. And so you've had no response from. Uh, yeah, I get Kelvin. responses from him through other people. And he would say he would say he's not gonna let me out my contract unless I give him a hundred thousand. Well, but he has no receipts of him spending the hundred thousand. I don't even remember that amount of money going on unless it was done behind my back because it was just me and him. Paid through clothes. And, and he was trying to play yeah, papers. Yeah, pay yeah, and he would give like he would give Phil forty thousand dollar checks. Phil Phil a book of uh pay everybody off. He wouldn't even use it for radio. He's telling me he's using checks for radio when when I when I found out that's that's illegal to pay radio to play an artist's music. Charlemagne the God told me himself that DJs were not playing my music because they didn't like Kev. So how he how I owe him a hundred thousand? He sent my he sent my lawyers a P, like a PDF or a Microsoft Excel. Mm, somebody just posted posted numbers in in squares. Send send a, 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 a Microsoft Word and just type some up, type some stuff saying I owe him this stuff, and he don't have no he don't have no copy, no screenshots no bank receipts, no receipts of no receipts. So let me ask you something: If he were to because we're here now, yeah. you've pretty much let the cat out the bag. 
Pretty What's much. up? Okay. Your side of the story, <laughs> and you're sticking to it. Yes. And your wife here is, is co-signing. I'm here. <laughs> Um, what if he did want to come to source some sort of agreement? Would we be here? Would you still be telling the I world still, who you feel Kevin if he came to or agreement, Kelvin that's just Hunter for the, is? That's just for the damage that he know he's done to me. You know, the fact that the that the truth is out, the truth need to come out. Rest rest in peace to, to my man, Ms. Nipsey Hussle. He gave me the strength to say this. I needed to say this. Kevin need to come forward and tell people that he's gay. He is gay. You can look at him and tell he's gay. That's why he's that's that's why he's so weak for Nikki because he can't get nothing else. Mm. Do you think Nikki knows that he's, I guess, allegedly gay or? And like Any I said, any woman that's close, they could they could see it. Any woman that's close, especially when you only giving them your 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 come and you only putting your energy into them, they they could see you. I'm just shocked that he was able to kind of maneuver and keep y'all all at bay. We got Wendy here, we have you, and then we have Sharina. And he's, I have to say, allegedly carrying on a relationship with all three of you guys. Well, now we, you know, so, yeah, simultaneously, and simultaneously, all, and, yeah, all, in and then ways. you guys yeah. aren't talking to each other, but yet all of you guys are working yeah. together. You and Sharina are Ain't supposedly living together. How how was he able to pull this off? How was he able to keep you? Because he always used the word family, and that's what I would tell him in the beginning. You got to stop calling people brother and sister. You got to say, "Well, we family. We family." No, no, we're really not. Because if I get too close to Nikki, you'll you'll get jealous or you'll try to pull me over. If I get too close to Wendy, you'll get jealous or you'll pull me over or you'll you like push me over. Or you'll push her. You know you, you. And if they get too close to me, you you, you push them away from me. You know. Mm-hmm. I don't, so he I don't, has. So for for ten years, he's managed to keep Sharina and Wendy away from each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yet they're they're right around the corner, living around the corner from each other. Oh yeah, and then you're in the condo Come before on. she had the house, living with. No, I, I think she with, had the house. I think she had the house before I got in the condo. Okay, yeah. wow. Oh yeah, she had it before I was in the condo. Okay. Okay. Um, and so I'm just amazed. I mean, he is a mastermind. I gotta give it to him. I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> if this <laughs> I'm not I'm not doubting you, so I'm just saying if this is what happened, I'm just saying that he's one hell of a, a magician. No, because you to gotta be understand able to... Kev got Kev, Nikki got her own business and and Wendy has her own business. So he got a lot of time in between do not to do nothing. He only go in the office because they they're in the office from six a six AM. Into twelve, maybe. So he got the whole day to do what he wanted to. Who does he spend most of his time with? Well, from... he used to spend most of the time with me. Oh, and then and then it was he'll split it between me and Nikki. Like he'll spend like twelve hours with me and twelve hours with Nikki. We'll spend. We'll go out to eat together. Work out together. Just, we did a lot together. Okay. Please visit Car Marshall below in the description box as well as in the comments. From there, you're gonna use the link. You're gonna enter your zip code. They're gonna find a car for you in your area so it cuts down you having to go from dealership to dealership allow car marshal below in the description box to help you find your car first bad credit no credit or good credit okay car marshal in the description okay and so is there anything else you want to say to him before we wrap up this interview avion do the right thing do the right thing man okay now what if he i guess uh I guess wants to counter sue. You can't using this interview as leverage. I, 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 uh, you, you're God prepared. You're him. prepared to go through discovery. Oh, oh God, be with them. Oh yeah. Anything you want to say? I, I, <laughs> okay. I, look, I mean, <laughs> the passion behind it. Come on, is, come on, to the oh, mic. Sorry. The passion behind the the ending is more of something he has to deal with, and I'm kind of along, kind of trying to be the support. Okay. Because I didn't necessarily go through what he went through. Okay. I could just uh, kind of give a hand and, you know, be there. Now, I want to ask you a question because, like I said, I told you I was going to ask your wife this. There are a lot of people who may not understand the dynamics of the type of relationship that you and Avion have. Okay. With him even announcing using this interview as, um, I wouldn't say coming out, but like just letting the world know who you really are behind the voice. Right. Right. An amazing voice at that. How is it that you, being an African American <laughs> young woman, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking, twenty six. Okay, so twenty six. So you're still fairly young. I'm thirty seven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, um, I couldn't. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm just I'm putting right. it out there. I I would not right. <laughs> agree <laughs> uh, to because I I I, I like 
you know, men to like women. That's right. me. That's my preference. Right. Okay. And I'm not saying that it's wrong for anybody else to like whatever they like, but right. I mean, it's rare that you, you see African-American women, especially being okay with being that. okay with that. Yeah. So I kind of want you to really shed some light um, on the dynamics of your relationship and how is it that you guys really kind of make it work and be married and because everything's changing. You have to think about how the world moves in a minute. Technology is going to take over. That's how I look at it. It's more of knowing that everything is being updated. Okay. Um, going, staying with current, like, people coming out, I feel like it was just a trend for people to come out. I feel like people have been kind of undercover mm-hmm. forever, and okay. it's just now being a conversation that we bring to light. Okay. Um, as far as, it's, it's like in the black community, I feel like we sweep a lot of things under the table that we don't necessarily want to talk about. Okay. That we know is like the, the cousin you knew that always was undercover, but nobody ever said anything because then no one wanted to offend them, you know, or wanted to talk about it and actually want to deal with somebody not being the same as whoever else was around, you know. Okay. So... For me, I've always been kind of different. Okay. Um, now, when you say different, explain. <laughs> uh, meaning, I've always kind of got special things. It's things that I had to kind of put more love and compassion into, um, understanding more. Um, now, are we talking as far as like your sexuality or just? As far as life. Um, okay. With, from, like how you, how you view situations. Yeah, how I view people. Okay. Yeah, I'm more okay. of like happy, you know what I mean? I want to kind of like. You're a free spirit. Pretty much. Okay. Um, So I didn't necessarily want to shut it down when he, when we kind of figured out, because I'm not, don't get me wrong. I don't walk around looking for men that like other men. Okay. You know, that that's not something that okay. happened to me. It was more of, we built a relationship. He kind of had to be honest with himself because of the, the relationship we were trying to build with each other. It made it, okay, you got to tell me this. Where have you? It's kind of like the truth or dare game. You okay. know what I mean? Knowing how far you would go with the daring information that you have that you don't necessarily want everybody to know. But when we thought of marriage, we thought of, okay, we have to be open with each other. It's not something we can't. A lot of the things that are in our past are going to come to the light. So it's either you're going to make a decision to bring it to the front or are you going to wait. Yeah, black people are the only people who are sexually ignorant. They don't want to deal with Period. the things that kind of like are happening. So, And, and like I told Avion, the, the, the only time I've really seen the dynamic of couples like this is yeah. amongst um, more so Caucasian couples. Yeah. I have Caucasian friends yeah. who yeah. They, they, everybody do each other. <laughs> well, like, not, not, like not, not like that, but yeah. as far as like, I'm saying, let me rephrase that. I got you. Whereas like the the wife, like they're married. Like I have yeah. a, uh, there's a couple that I know. Yeah. She, she's married to a man who, not necessarily that he's gay, he just, yeah. you know, doesn't really put a label on his sexuality. Right. But they do, they do things together. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, whereas if there's two men, one girl, everybody just kind of, uh, you know. Has an open talk. Pretty much. Yeah. Talks yeah. About, and, yeah. you know, just hearing her talk and I'm like, and, you know, me, I'm like, I'm like, wow. Like, <laughs> Okay, yeah. so the starting point is real. Okay, um, it's, it's just things have changed so much that yeah. you can't even put anything aside anybody. Okay. You know what I mean, if you ever put in say, oh, they'll never do that. You will. But do you? Let me ask you a question. Being that you were kind of born with both, right? I, I vibe it on both tones: a male tone <laughs> and a female tone. Okay. I mastered men and I mastered women. Well, I haven't really mastered. Sorry, I take yeah, that you. totally back. <laughs> but I mastered. I mastered more ways to to penetrate a woman's mind. Okay. Then, then a do, lot of. Do men. you think it's because you were you were born yeah. with with oh, both female and oh, male definitely. counterparts? Parts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, definitely. All right. And do you do you feel more of a masculine energy or a feminine energy from from mm-hmm. Avion when you're with him? Well, we kind of vibrate off of each other. It's not he doesn't he's not my girlfriend. You know okay. What I mean? Well, he doesn't like, look like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> he's more, you know, oh, yeah. we have a, a more. Sometimes I feel like I'm more aggressive, and then other times I feel like he's more he, more understanding. There's a balance. Like, yeah, it's a, okay. a definitely a balance, because sometimes I can be so rough that I don't ever, you know, think about being soft or being compassionate about something, because okay. I'm so... I mean, that's, that's just this woman. Yeah, you know, and go hell off. Like, he makes me softer, <laughs> okay. and it makes me kind of understand that I don't have to be so hard, you know? Okay. Because I realized when dealing Come with up Kev, to the microphone. Because I realized dealing with Kev, there's power and vulnerability. Man, go around, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna do what I say. Mm-hmm. No woman hear that. No woman hears that. 
they hear when you get low and you talk to them in that tone, they can always hear you. Oh, yeah. That's how my husband you checks see? things around the house. <laughs> So I know that told. I'm like, oh, know. he's serious. That's how you know it's vulnerability and power. Okay. And that's why I'm so humble. I wish everybody could be as humble as I am because it's a lot of men that you don't know. A lot of men be having secret orgies going, going. That you think they're going to play basketball. You think they're going to wherever you think. Tell you, tell them that. Tell, tell you that they're going, but they're really going to fuck another man. And, don't, and, it's, and, don't, not every and I'm not gonna say no, 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 every, every, right. Let's. I'm not saying every man. Say every does, man I'm not saying every man does this. I'm not saying every man <laughs> does this. But if you man, you you'll be surprised. And, and a lot. And you know who know it? The the the, 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 the real gay men. They'll tell you, you how many about the men. Trans- the trans the transgenders. They, they could tell you. Yeah. A lot okay. of them can tell you that they get a lot of traffic. You know, and okay. the reason why me and my wife are so loyal to one another is because we actually love each other like. Family, okay. it's a family bond that me and her have. Okay. You know, we don't. It's no judgment there. You know, she's almost like a sister to me. Now, is she allowed to and explore? Without, Are you allowed to explore? It's not. Let me see. How I can put this. Um, it's not something that we. It's like set in stone. I want to say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're like we got married well, December, so it's we're still learning each other, yeah. and we're still. And I got the congratulations on being the so <laughs> Thank you. I've been in this game 14 years. Yeah, so. <laughs> strive to be like that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of wanted you to offer some clarity on yeah. just the kind of d- dynamics of this because I mean, this is a lot like yes. you just reveal. And um, I do thank you for trusting me and my platform uh, to to bear this information, information that you've never really revealed about yourself. Not even to my family. Right. And so they're going to be seeing this interview for the first time as well, too. Well, well yeah, they're going to be seeing this. The, yeah. And hearing this interview. They heard, they heard a lot. Some of them heard it when you, when you mentioned it previously. Oh, you know, they watched. Hinted at it, you know. Oh, watch. Wow. Oh, they watch. Oh, everybody watch. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, y'all they're need to know that. They're not saying nothing. They're listening. If they, if <laughs> some, if, well, for every subscriber, there's somebody. There's two more people that saw it. Yeah. For real. Okay. Okay. Well, shout out to the fam for being yeah. fans of <laughs> Why with Tasha K. Yeah. Um. Well, no. Is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up this interview, or do you want to just sing your they're way just so, out, it's, Avion? It's so much I could do. It's so much I could say, but we're, we're running out of time. Well, can we do a part two? Well, what? A follow up once once we see how this this goes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh we can, yeah. We can schedule a part two. Oh, yeah. for you to oh, respond because yeah. it's about to get it's about to get messy. Okay. Well, if you post this, it's gonna, it's gonna to be get, messy. You know, be like it. We didn't want it to be messy. You know. Well, I mean, it is messy. It's right. Messy. It's very. Yeah. I mean, you got Wendy Williams going through uh, a yeah. public divorce, yeah. and you know, my source kind of leads to me that yeah. <laughs> he had the papers in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, and that he kind of actually feels free about the situation. Like he, he does definitely. because I asked him. I said, Kev. I said, Why you just won't let Wendy go? Why you just let her let her do her thing? Say, I, I want her to be happy. And I said, I, w- w- why don't you just let me? Don't even say it. Don't even say it. He didn't even want me to mention the thought of Nikki leaving him. Oh, he is stupid. Yeah. Stupid for her. And was well, stupid for me, too. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope now because, you know, being that I've... Um, you know, been around town, okay? Yeah. And I kind of know how these things work. Like, when you have someone on the side, right. it's not the same as being with a person full time. No. No. And so now that Wendy is kind of stepping back to exit herself out of yeah. this, I really think that if this is really all going down, yeah. he's going to really see who, who's, really there. who's really who's really who and who is really there. Oh, yeah. definitely. And so it's very different going from a mm-hmm. woman who is about her business, like Wendy Williams, yep. who, you know, who takes charge to yep. a woman who's just sitting at home and, you do know, it, allegedly getting high and the baby <laughs> is in the hospital with marijuana in the system, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, and Kevin, 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 Kevin and Nikki are potheads. But it's in the atmosphere. All day, all So you think long. the baby oh. just sniffed it or the baby just it's ingested just, it in the breast milk? It's just in the <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> it's, um, it's in the atmosphere. I, I just feel like they have a... And see, another reason why I'm doing this too, though. I just hate that. Quay and Tasha. Kevin really did criminal things to me. Like he did, he really, he really did damage my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm suing for real. Like this is nothing that I'm a scorn employee. What are you talking about? I'm a, I'm a wedding singer. I'm a corporate. People fly me out all the time. I just left, I just left a gig yesterday. Yeah. Somebody see me on YouTube. Hey, can you, can you do this for me? Can you sing for my girl? Can you, can you sing at my wedding? 
fifteen hundred dollars, three thousand dollars every time somebody fly me out. I don't. I didn't need Kev. I chose Kev. Okay. When I when I went viral, when I when I went viral, John Legend hit me, or Patti LaBelle hit me, uh, Randy Jackson from American Idol. So many different people from all over the world hit me. I chose to deal with, with Kev because he was a direct access to TV. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like you being in radio and your goal is to hit Oprah. Mm-hmm. You finally meet Oprah. She invites you in her life. She invites you in her th- and everywhere. And she just starts talking to you any kind of way. Now, you ain't got no kids. You ain't got no husband. You got a little boyfriend, you know, <laughs> you, a, a little friend. But it's she's still- talking to you any kind of way. And you flying back and forth. Blind, fl- she flying you back and forth. Blind, if if I forth. was younger, I would say, yeah, being that I'm 37, yeah, there's no difference. molding. You see what I'm saying? Me. Yeah. They can, they yeah. can tone me back <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You know, not as <laughs> aggressive. Yeah. But, I mean, but, I, you know, maybe if I was like 20, because I, I've always wanted to be in media since right. I was 23 years old. Yeah. So maybe she would have caught me then. I would have been like, oh my God, it's Let's Oprah. Go. Yeah. But now it's like, I'm I'm really reading what that fine print says yeah. and what them checks say. Yeah. So and you get hurt a few times. <laughs> yeah, I was know. 24 when I met Kevin. Yeah. yeah. So it's a so. it's a big difference. But yeah. now if it's, Oprah knocks on the door, like, yeah, don't get me wrong, like I'ma hear what she has to say, but yeah. it's not gonna be like, oh my God, it's Jump Oprah. I'm gonna be like, well, what that paper's saying, what that check saying. <laughs> yeah. Then sure. that's what talks. You Most know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Um, because what I it takes it takes money to run a business. And you know, I can't be kind of moving off of your word just because you're who you are and I already have something established here so and I I definitely understand your dilemma and um, definitely just like I said I'm not going to sit here in front like I mean it is a lot of information yeah Um, I don't know whether because I wasn't there and I mean like I said if this is the man that you guys are saying that he is he wears many hats it's bizarre Mm -hmm. and a lot of people will kind of see things as bizarre if they've never walked Right. in those type of shoes so um i would say don't be surprised if the feedback is more negative than yeah positive, than oh, positive or oh, okay. vice versa it's you okay. know it because matter. and that's what i would just say and and like i said we can do a follow-up to part two yeah for you to speak your mind and like i said no other platform is really going to let you air it out like i do and yeah, that's why sure, i like sure. where i'm at right now because i can really get into the shit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just said what you got to say. <laughs> yeah. and, if anything, and if anybody w- want to play devil get devil's advocate again to say if I'm a score uh, a score employee, yeah, because that's what I was gonna say. Like it could be yeah. no different than like my husband and I, because we're we're a husband and wife team, right? right. So if um if an employee we piss off mm-hmm. like, gets upset, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden maybe it was a pay issue or something like that, or maybe they just was waiting for an opportunity, you know, right. to to blast or whatever, and then he that my employee is sitting right there saying. Now, oh, she had a baby with my husband, my or dude, she yeah. slept with him. It's like these things happen all the time, mm-hmm. yeah. and so like that, and that's the issue that I think um, uh, a lot of people will question. So, so why would I question my manhood? Do I look gay to y'all? Put Do I look gay to you? I, look, I don't I, know what I looks gay. Why would okay, I, exactly. <laughs> look. thank you. I don't that's know. What I'm why would I, I mean, why would I thought I RuPaul my... was gay, but look, yeah, no. not gay. So it's not a look. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's definitely not a look. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. No, man. Okay. Putting yourself on a platform to tell the world what you tell on your your intimate self to your your mate. Is right. It's already hard yourself. enough to get on this microphone <laughs> and talk and 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 know that I'm going to be exposed. Yeah. If 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 I'm a scoring employee, how come nobody on no PM? Who know? Did you know? Do you know PM? I did not you know. know PM? I heard you Wendy Williams say PM I'm, I'm one Wendy time, Williams and that was when you artist. was. <laughs> I'm doing. All, I'm supposed to be dropping twenty songs a month, all right, but you're and I'm not doing artist. nothing. <laughs> but his boy toy going to all kind of spas, going to getting all kind of facials, and my nails did, my toes did, keep stay, keep me in the gym. I'm a boy toy. Nobody don't know about me. You totally changed my name for what? My even my first song, Big Guns. Because if I shoot my shot, I use a big gun. He heard that. He want people to know that I'm his artist and he, he want me to sing about his his alleged phallus. Because in the song it says, baby, I'm a hunter. You see, it's, it, that's his last name. So you're saying that basically he was using you, using, you to yes. sing about him. the things that, okay. Yes. So was Avion, his, his too, was Avion too feminine or something? Like, what, what was it? Like, why did he want to change your name? It was another agency that I was with. They copyrighted my name behind my back. Oh. Yeah, so. Okay. So we was going to still keep it as Avion, just Avion. Okay. You know, or AV, but he just changed it to PM. 
I'm like, that's really I mean, you. I mean, I, you went viral as Avion, right? So this is this is the. You asked me about the Wendy thing too, about the birthday celebration. I did when I was on the stage. You, the, my my whole setup was destroyed. You know, they, they my music started messing up. It, it was a horrible performance. What I posted on the internet, I just cut some a lot. I cut the the bad stuff out. Okay. okay. Don't you know that Kevin fired Lashana, his assistant, and he fired Nancy, his other assistant, because. He blamed them for my sound being messed up. And he got really heated at them, like yelling at them passionately. And they know it. He fired them because they messed up, because they, they didn't mess up my setup. I was trying to say, care, they didn't mess up my setup. They didn't, they, it wasn't their fault. He's like, they still, they still, they still. Was, why would a man be so passionate like that over another man? You can ask LaShawn. LaShawn. And this like, was before the, the sexual relationship or after? No, this was like in the middle. Okay. Before he came to the condo, this was the same. This is the same night that I performed, sung "Happy Birthday to Wendy." Before okay. that, it was a whole malfunction in my system. Okay, okay. So this is what you want the world to know. This is Avion. Avion. Avion and Quazy. Quazy. <laughs> and is there anything you want to kind of sign us off with, whether it's a note or a, I don't know, maybe a quote? <laughs> God or is something. Good. Okay. If, it, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't even be here today. I wouldn't even be speaking to you guys today. I wouldn't be able to come forth and tell my truth, you know, because God made me unique. I'm I'm probably the most one of the most unique people on this planet, and I didn't thank God for that. When you when I start t- t- when I started to take accountability for everything that happened in my life, I realized God has blessed me beyond measure, and you guys will see. Okay. You want to hit a little note for everybody and tell them where they can, and tell <laughs> yeah. them where they can follow you on social media. You got me up in this club, just staying up for your love, making rent for your love, just waiting up for your love. No bottles up in this club, just waiting up for your love, making rent for your love, waiting up for your love. Bad thing, you need a ring. Uh, Cause you're so bad, you're so bad, bad thing, you need a ring, yeah Cause you're so bad, you're so bad, yeah, yeah You're so bad, you're so bad, so bad You're so bad, you're so bad, so bad <laughs> Avion, now tell them where That's they the can single, uh, bad find thing. you on social media Just in case they want to reach out to book you for events Or just follow you He's following me, Avion Avion vibes. If you if you don't remember, just type in Brian and I. I'll come up. Avion. Do you have an Instagram current right now? Yeah, or yeah. Avion Instagram vibes. Avion vibes. Okay. A v e o n v i b e z. Okay. All right. Thank you, Avion. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Quazy. No Such a very unique story, and uh, I appreciate you sharing your truth. Thank All right. You. Now I gotta go. Let me sign <laughs> off. I gotta do my love. You know. Bye. <laughs>